We are just two days away from going to Fontaine, and the players are very excited. Version 4.0 isn't even out yet and a couple of leakers have already revealed the potential version 4.1 banners. A few old leaks have already stated that Ryothesley and Nouvellet will make their debut in the version 4.1 update. Luckily, there are no changes to that even in the newer leaks. Ryothesley and Nouvellet will debut in the upcoming 4.1 update as 5-star characters. Ryothesley is speculated to be a cryo-catalyst unit, while Nouvellet is a hydro-catalyst unit. Travelers can expect their drip marketing posts tomorrow or on August 15th. Furthermore, it was initially believed that Raiden Shogun would return in 4.1 with Arataki Ito, but that possibility has been ruled out. Instead, a new leak from a reliable leaker called Uncle YC suggests that Venti and Hutao will likely get a banner in version 4.1. That said, the source did not mention any banner order for this update, so the exact phase of their rerun is uncertain. The 4.1 banner info came from a reliable source, so it is safe to assume they are likely true. On a related note, if all the leaks about Ryothesley turn out to be true, it will potentially make him the first 5-star male cryo character in the game. Furthermore, another reliable leaker known as Randialos has claimed that there is a chance that the officials might move him to the standard banner in version 4.2. Now let's talk about version 4.2 banners. Focalers is confirmed to be released in the first half of version 4.2. And she will be the only new 5-star character releasing in version 4.2, so the other three banners will be reruns. Focalers is a 5-star Hydro Sword user. However there are rumors going on in the community about two Archon banners in version 4.2. But, I will not consider this fact. But I'm not denying it also, because there were rumors about two Archon banners in 4.1 as well. Baiju is confirmed to get a rerun in version 4.2 and he will most likely be in phase 1. Every new 5-star character gets a rerun after 3 or 4 patches. Since he was released in version 3.6 and he is not coming in 4.1, he will surely come in version 4.2. Other than him, Albedo and Kamisato Ayato or Sino are expected to get their rerun banners in 4.2. If you remember, Albedo's last rerun banner was back in the second phase of version 3.1, so him getting a rerun in the upcoming patches should not surprise anyone. And Ayato got his previous rerun in version 3.3 along with Raiden Shogun. But Sino 2 is a perfect candidate for a rerun and I will tell you why. Most new characters get their second rerun banner after 4 or 5 patches since their first reruns. Now before talking about version 4.3 banners, I would like to say some things. First, the reruns will be speculations, based on previous patterns. Second, I'm considering that Hoyoverse will not implement the triple banners system in version 4.3. It has been confirmed by the leakers that after version 4.1, each patch will feature only one new 5-star character and the rest of them will be reruns. There are two potential candidates for the new character who will debut in version 4.3 and they are Navia and Clorind. Some say it will be Navia and the others say that it will be Clorind. However I think that Clorind should debut in version 4.3, because Navia is expected to be a standard banner character. So here's the catch, if Ryothesley doesn't end up being on the standard banner then Navia will debut in 4.3. And if he does end up being a standard character then Clorind should debut in version 4.3. Because no way they're going to release two standard banner characters in alternate patches. So one character will be either Navia or Clorind. Now let's talk about the potential reruns. This is the time it has been, since each character last got their reruns and it's been updated till 4.0. So the other three characters who are most likely to rerun are, Kamisato Ayaka, Raiden Shogun and Ayato or Sino, whoever doesn't end up being in 4.2 banners. Remember that rerun banners of 4.3 are just my speculations, but it won't change much in my opinion. For those who are waiting for Xiao, we'll have to wait for him a bit more because he will most likely return next year in version 4.4 with Lantern Rite Festival. 